Well, hey everyone out there, thanks for choosing our short explanation of how to combine two great games together into one, Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and like I said, today we're going to mash these together and make it into one huge fun party game. Now, if you're not already familiar with the basics of Throw Throw Burrito or Throw Throw Avocado, we're not going to be covering that in this video. We're just covering the differences of the combination game. So if you're unfamiliar with the basics of the original games, you can click on the links in the description below, or you can click on the little doodad thing. I never remember which side it's going to be on. And that will take you to our uh, videos on how to play the original games. And like I said, today we're just going to show you what are the basics of how it works when you combine the two games together. Now, if you haven't already done so, please do take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. We greatly do appreciate that. And it sure does help us grow. Now let's take a look at what we got to do to make things happen with this great combination game. First, you will need one of each of the games. From Throw Throw Burrito, you will need all of the items in the box. From Throw Throw Avocado, you will need the Avocado Boo Boos, the Firmy Badge, the Avocados, and the extra packet of cards in the envelope. For the setup, First, you'll need to go through the cards from Throw Throw Burrito. Remove all of the Burrito Battle cards. You can return them back to the box as they are not used in the combo game. Next, remove the cards from the envelope from Throw Throw Avocado. These are new types of battle cards. They need to be shuffled into the stack of cards. Place the two Fermi badges in the center of the playing area. Place the bruises on the burrito and place the boo-boos on the avocado. Next, give each player approximately 15 cards. Players do not look at their cards yet. Take the remaining cards and divide them in half and place on the sides of the Fermi badges. Now take the burritos and avocados and place them around the cards like this. Players take their pile of cards and place them slightly to their right, and this completes the setup. The combo game is played exactly the same way as Throw Throw Burrito or Throw Throw Avocado. If you're unfamiliar on the basics, click on the link at the top right, or one of the links in the description which will take you to our other videos on how to play the original games. The main difference in the combo is the different types of battles fought, which we'll now run through on how each of these work. First, there is the Scatter Brawl. When you play three of these cards, you announce Scatter Brawl. The players who are on the left and the right of the person who played the cards are in the brawl, but before it begins, the player who played the cards can take the four throwables and toss them wherever they choose, it can be as far or as close as they want. Once tossed, the player who played the cards says, go, and the two players on the left and right go after them. The rules are otherwise the same for the brawl. The player who gets hit first by a throwable loses the battle and must take a bruise or boo-boo from the center. Once complete, reset the table and continue the game. Next is the Burrito War or Avocado War. When you play a matching set of these three, you announce either Burrito War or Avocado War depending on which it is. All players, except the player who played the set of cards, are involved. They must grab the correct throwable based on which type of war has been played. It's okay if they grab the wrong one, but if they throw the wrong one, then the war is immediately over. The player who threw the wrong item takes the boo-boo or the bruise. During the war, the first player to be hit by a throwable is the loser and must take the boo-boo or bruise. In a double-up duel, the player who plays the matching set announces Double-up duel! 
and that player now chooses three people to be involved in the duel. They can choose themselves if they wish. The player chooses two people to be on a team, leaving one player to be on their own. The two players playing together take one avocado each. The player who's playing on their own takes both burritos. The two players get back to back with the solo player, and just like in regular games, the duel starts the same way. Only in this version, the two people who are playing together are allowed to only have one throwable in their hand at a time. The person who is playing on their own has no limit to how many throwables they can carry. If the single player gets hit, they take one bruise or boo-boo. If either of the team duel get hit, they both lose, and therefore they both take a boo-boo or bruise. If this does happen towards the end of the game and there are not enough boo-boos or bruises, then the player who actually got hit takes the boo-boo or bruise. The rest of the scoring and gameplay works exactly the same as the original games. Whoever wins the first round takes a Fermi badge. If there's a tie, have a duel to see who takes the badge. After the second round, if the same player wins, they are the champion. If a different player wins, then you have a duel between round one and round two to see who is the champion. And so that's how you combined Throw Throw Burrito and Throw Throw Avocado together into one to make a great combination party game. Thanks for joining us today. If you got any questions on how uh, the game works, you can always uh, drop those questions down in the comment below and I'll be sure to answer those as quick as I can. And while you're there, if you haven't already done so, take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Again, we sure do appreciate that, and it indeed does help us grow. Well, now we know the basics, so let's play.